BBLA 51, turn right, heading 183. You might recall the Airbus A350 issue impacting Qatar Airways aircraft over recent months that resulted in the grounding of around 20 350s with the Doha based carrier. There was lots of confusion surrounding this grounding as it only seemed to impact Qatar, and a lot of people thought that the airline was potentially taking this a step too far to try and negotiate compensation with Airbus. At the same time, comments from the European Aviation Safety Agency claims that the defect did not actually pose a safety risk and that they did not need to see a considerable of 350s grounded. These aircraft that were grounded though by Qatar Airways did result in them reluctantly bringing back the A380. Now this was a type within their operations that they had previously expected would not return and would be retired during the pandemic with immediate effect. But it goes to show you how just anything can change. And now we have a pretty big update surrounding the paint floor and it actually spreads a lot further than just in Doha. At least, if not more, five other airlines that operate the Airbus A350 are going through the same thing that Qatar Airways are going through. This is thanks to a report by Reuters that details the developments and comes months after we first learned of the problems that Qatar Airways were dealing with. This is an airline that has over 50 of the A350s at its disposal and has actually already grounded almost half of those as they wait on Airbus to create a fix and rectify the problems they are facing. A situation though that Airbus continues to claim is not a safety concern. Of course, these airlines are firmly under the impression that it's just a cosmetic issue, whereas Qatar sees it differently. In saying all that, there's just one other reported airline that was experiencing fuselage problems following the surface paint defects being found, meaning the weather and elements can be hitting the fuselage. This though can be attributed due to the conditions that the aircraft are actually located in. As an example, that would be the Middle East where we have incredibly high temperatures and the conditions are a lot harsher than say the United Kingdom or France. So what other airlines are experiencing the issue, you might be asking. The likes of Air France, Lufthansa, Etihad, Cathay Pacific, among others, have noted that they're seeing paint damage impact their Airbus A350 aircraft. There's lots of people with mixed feelings over the motive over this, especially when taking a look at Qatar Airways, who could be eyeing up compensation for the matter or something else. What are your thoughts? This is obviously still a problem and Airbus does need to fix it. And the last thing, of course, they'll want to see emerge is this problem run deeper. This is a problem at the end of the day that Airbus needs to try and figure out a fix for. And the last thing they'll want to be seeing is this problem deepen. So it cannot be ignored. And I'd be very intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section on Qatar Airways. What do you believe is their motive for grounding the Airbus A350 when everyone is simply saying it's a cosmetic issue? Is there something deep rooted there? Let me know down in the comment section. Thanks very much for watching. Do take care and be safe. And I hope you enjoy your week.